The James Webb Space Telescope continues to capture attention, not just for its impressive revelations about distant galaxies and mysterious black holes in the vast expanses of the universe, but also for its recent focus on an extraordinary spectacle. In its latest feat, the telescope has documented something truly mind-blowing. While we're all acquainted with the awe-inspiring phenomenon of the Northern and Southern Lights, or auroras, caused by the interaction of charged particles from the Sun with molecules in Earth's atmosphere, the telescope has unveiled a fascinating twist. Typically, these dazzling displays are confined to high latitudes, as Earth's magnetosphere directs these particles towards the polar regions. However, the James Webb Space Telescope has observed auroras on other celestial bodies within our solar system, such as Jupiter, Saturn, and even active moons like Enceladus. In these instances, the mesmerizing light shows are likely sparked by the impact of charged solar particles bombarding these cosmic objects. Prepare for an astounding revelation. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has unveiled the presence of an aurora encircling a brown dwarf named W1935, a failed star located over 40 light years away from Earth. This discovery baffles scientists as there are no nearby stars capable of supplying the charged particles needed for this mesmerizing display. Brown dwarfs, larger than gas giant planets but smaller than stars, form from collapsing gas and dust clouds akin to the birth process of stars. Consequently, many brown dwarfs, including WW1935, are often found in isolation. Despite being dubbed failed stars due to their insufficient mass for sustaining hydrogen fusion, they now showcase a stunning aurora, defying conventional expectations. The James Webb Space Telescope detected potential auroral activity around W1935 through infrared and solar radiation emissions, particularly associated with methane. On gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn, Methane emissions accompany the heating of their atmospheres as charged particles create auroras along magnetic field lines. The research team proposes a similar mechanism for the solitary brown dwarf. However, the unexpected twist occurred when observations revealed that instead of absorbing light, the emitted methane produced a glowing light, a perplexing revelation for the scientists. The initial confusion arose from questioning why methane, typically associated with external solar wind triggering auroras, would be emitted by this brown dwarf lacking such a wind. The research team posits that an internal process within the brown dwarf might be energizing its atmosphere. Alternatively, interstellar plasma collisions or the receipt of particles from a nearby active moon could explain the unexpected auroral activity in WW1935. While past explanations, such as auroras, have clarified certain features of brown dwarfs, the James Webb Space Telescope's observation of methane emissions from W1935 marks the first instance of such a discovery, shedding light on the chemistry behind these processes. This breakthrough allows us to explore the similarities and differences in auroral phenomena beyond our solar system. Further observations will be crucial to pinpoint the exact cause of this intriguing phenomenon. Adding to the list of intriguing discoveries, the James Webb Space Telescope, in the early days of 2024, has unveiled galaxies with a surprising resemblance to pickles, leaving astronomers utterly astonished. Long-held assumptions about galaxies in the early universe being orb-like have been shattered by these latest images. Contrary to expectations, the newly observed baby galaxies from the early universe exhibit a distinctive banana-like shape. This unexpected revelation comes after a thorough re-evaluation of images capturing 4,000 newborn galaxies by the Webb Telescope during the universe's infancy. If confirmed, these findings have the potential to revolutionize our understanding of galaxy formation and expansion processes. 
Moreover, they could offer valuable insights into the enigmatic nature of dark matter, an invisible substance believed to constitute a significant portion of the universe. Despite building upon earlier hints from the Hubble telescope, the recent findings suggesting that the earliest galaxies have a pickle-like shape are met with skepticism from many astronomers. Dr. Alan Dressler of the Carnegie Observatories, a key figure in developing the James Webb Space Telescope, expresses doubt about these results. While not directly involved in this observation, he maintains reservations, highlighting the challenges of making precise measurements for distant, small, and faint galaxies. The team of scientists performed a statistical analysis of the two-dimensional projections of galaxies on the sky to explore their three-dimensional shapes. In a scenario where the initial galaxies were spherical or disc-shaped with random orientations in space, Astronomers would anticipate observing their complete faces appearing round and circular at times. However, the observations deviate from this expectation, revealing a prevalence of shapes resembling cigars and bananas. This ongoing debate underscores the complexities and uncertainties involved in studying the early universe. Dr. Pa, the lead author of the study, highlights that these galaxies exhibit a distinctive linear shape, with some displaying multiple bright clumps arranged like pearls on a necklace. These elongated galaxies, constituting approximately 80% of the galaxies in the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Sample, are uncommon in the present-day universe, but are believed to be precursors to galaxies like the Milky Way. This suggests that our own galaxy might have undergone a similar phase in the past, displaying a morphology akin to a cigar or surfboard. In the contemporary universe, galaxies are typically classified into two fundamental forms, elliptical clouds and flat, disk-like structures, such as our Milky Way. However, the earliest newborn galaxies did not conform to these familiar forms, Edwin Hubble's 1926 Hubble sequence initially categorized galaxies into three types based on appearance, elliptical, lenticulars, and spirals. The recent findings challenge these traditional classifications, offering new insights into the diverse shapes of galaxies during their early evolution. This captivating find challenges our comprehension of isolated celestial objects, offering new frontiers for exploration and expanding our understanding of the cosmos. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments section, and subscribe to Spacebeat News, where the universe unfolds.